Howdy folks, I am RusKiel, and welcome back to Let's Play Danganronpa 2, Goodbye Despair. In the last episode, we finished up the talk about the Monokuma panels had in the domino effect that started the fire, and we kind of sussed our way through uh, propping up the life-size Monokuma plushie, uh, propping the knife up on it so that Nagio could stab his free right hand. Um, that was that was most of it. I'm okay. On one hand, I'm a li uh, on one hand, I I'm a little happy that I actually managed to figure that to sort of figure that one out on my own, even if it did take a little time. On the other hand, I'm <sighs> looking back on it. The last like three episodes have been just garbage. I don't try to be bad, but that's just the way that they're really coming out, and I'm sorry about that. Hopefully, hopefully I can start getting better, but I honestly don't know. Some people are. Some people are just natural-born entertainers, and others are not, obviously. Um, so we'll just keep going from there. Uh, makes sense! Uh, that's why there's a big hole in the plushy stomach! He inserted the knife handle into that hole to prop it up, and then he, he slammed his hand onto it. If that's it, he had to place the plushie near him, and it also explains the mysterious blood on the plushie. So the blood on the plushie came from Nagito after he stabbed the knife into his own right hand. See, I was... Uh, based on the way the crime scene was situated, I had thought that the knife had not only been stabbed through his hand, but had also been impaled into the floor. That's what was That was what confused me for the longest time. Because I figured, well, that's how... I figured if he wasn't able to be tied down at that point, that's how he wanted it to be seen as how he had uh, how after the fact his hand had been held in place it's weird and strange but that's just it was something i hadn't caught on to ah, i see so that's the trick but for a moment i seriously thought monica had died or something a bleeding plushie is super scary it's got the same fear factor as a doll whose hair grows too long after stabbing his hand he no longer needed the plushie, so he cast it off toward the fire's origin point. He probably thought the fire would incinerate it and destroy evidence. So what do you think now, Fuyuhiko? I get what you're saying about the wound in your right hand, but there's still one huge problem. The spear. Basically, you're saying Nagito committed suicide by impaling himself with spear, right? If you think about the order, Getting killed by Spear should be the last thing to happen to Nagito. If that's true, how is that possible? He can't grab Spear with right hand if knife is stabbed into it, and his left hand is all tied up. Then he probably took the Spear first, and as he endured the pain he stabbed the knife into his right hand. Uh, there is a limit to his constitution. If you get penetrated by something so big and thick, you would die instantly. Here comes... Yeah! Yeah, I knew you would pick up on it. I'm sorry. I didn't catch all that. Like I said, if you got penetrated by something so big and thick, you would die instantly. I love it. Ah, oh, say it one more time. I need to record it. For reasons. Hey, you bastard, you better cut it out. Uh, like she said, in that condition, it's very difficult to stab yourself with a spear. It'd be hard to use a spear with a knife stabbed into your right hand, while your left hand is tied up. So you're saying it's impossible. But no matter what I think, I can't believe Nikito's death was caused by someone else. I agree with that as well. To think that one of us could kill someone with such cruelty... I could never believe that. You say you can't believe it! <laughs> you just don't want to believe it, right? But that's why you keep getting betrayed over and over again, right? Same goes for this time, too. You just shut your mouth! It's against the rules to interfere with everyone! If you even think about doing anything, I have a plan of my own! Interesting. Ah, Monami sassing me. But it's just as Monokuma said. We've been betrayed over and over again so far, so... 
But this might also be the same. Calling this a suicide takes too much for granted. And it's too convenient. Then are you saying there is a killer among us, Kazuichi? Uh, of course! That doesn't include Miss Sonya and me. I'm getting a little carried away with that one again. For some, for whatever reason, despite the fact that I like I like doing his voice the best, I always seem to lose track of it the, the quickest. As Kazuichi said, it's true we've been constantly betrayed. But even if I'm betrayed again, I still want to believe in everyone. Uh, no matter how many times I may be betrayed, I still want to believe in everyone. I also want to believe that there is no killer. But suicide is unimaginable. Uh, do you really think so? But you said it too. It'd be impossible for him to stab himself with a spear in his condition. I did say difficult, but I never said impossible. Huh? I feel that there's some way he could have stabbed himself with that spear. What kind of way? I don't know. <laughs> you don't know. It's impossible to figure it out by myself. So let's think about it together. That's how we made it this far up till now. Everyone working together. She's right. We made it through several ordeals up to now by doing just that. Then, even now. Alright, let's do this. I kinda have a feeling I I kinda have a feeling it has to do with the blood on the girder. So does that come up? Blood on the left hand. Okay, well, if not that, then let's go with the blood on the left hand, because that indicates he was holding something, or having his fist clenched, or something of that nature. So how did Nagito stab himself with the spear? Let's work together and think this through. Leave it to La Lord Kazuichi. Okay, so when the spear stabbed Nagito, his right hand was covered by the knife, correct? Correct. He was only able to move his left hand. But his left hand was tied up as well. Then the rules, then that rules out the left hand. If that's the case, the only other way is he used his teeth. There she is on the teeth again. Or maybe he used his front. Uh, enough of enough of using his stuff. I know. Yeah, I'm not even not. Uh, no, I'm not saying that at all. She's gone too far. Okay. Anyway, I I, I think I got the answer to this one pretty uh, sussed out. Blood on the left hand, and. Uh, his left hand was and his left hand was free but it doesn't necessarily rule it out so it was the second one which after a couple statements here should be this one rules out his left hand no it does not yes all right hey i'm doing better yay i can actually make i can actually draw up my conclusions and leak them to the gameplay hold on it's still too early to dismiss the possibility that he used his left hand why I mean, his left hand was tied up, you know? But there was something off about his left hand. The blood, stain on the blood stain on the palm of his hand. Don't you think it looks somewhat strange? He only had blood on the lower area of his palm. Beyond that point, the blood stain suddenly cuts off, right? When the, when the blood spattered, that's as far as it reached, right? Uh, uh, that settles the description of that blood stain, but it's not the only unnatural blood stain. Uh, look! There's blood on the back of his hand, around the middle joints of his fingers. Like you said, it looks like an unnatural blood stain, but what's wrong with that? We might need to think and use our imaginations for a bit. If there's blood on his palm and the back of his hand, what was his left hand doing as the blood spattered? What was his hand doing when the blood spattered? Um, Gripping, open, hiding, the back of his hand was exposed. Well, that's not the case, because it would have gotten blood on it. Gripping is the best answer. Huzzah. Okay. So when the blood spattered, he was probably gripping with his left hand. And that's why there's a, such a strange-looking blood stain on his palm and the back of his hand. I don't understand the back bit too much. Maybe. It's a little weird. It's a little weirdish. Was he grabbing his front... Enough! Why are you thinking about that so much? Especially his. Stop thinking about his front tail. That is... I mean, he's a gross person as it is. Perish the thought. He was obviously grabbing the spear. Uh, now that you mention it, compared to the rest of his body, the wounds on his left arm are pretty mild. He probably made his wounds mild on purpose, so he could keep his strength while he gripped the spear. 
I get the feeling of Rebattle Showdown's coming up pretty soon. But even if he'd held Spear with tied up left hand, it'd be impossible for him to stab himself. That's right, that is the problem. Hey, Chiaki, what do you think? We're not gonna get the answer direct, are we? Hey, don't tell me you're getting sleepy. At times like this, you should always strike from a good angle, just like fixing an old TV. Don't talk to me about angles, alright? I, I had enough of that in case 3. Ah! I got it! Maybe? Huh? Really? Y yeah Like I thought! It's no mistake that Nikita was gripping the spear! I think? However, what's important is what section of the sphere he was gripping. Which section of the sphere? He'd be... Oh my god. I, I kind of want to say he's gripping the shaft. No, it's, I'm screwed. I'm gonna... Nikito must have been gra gripping the shaft of the spear. Come on, let's get a rise out of Akane. Why the shaft? Well, you know. Oh, I was hoping for something a little funnier. If it's gripping the shaft with his bound left hand, he couldn't have stabbed himself with the spear, right? You're, oh, I was hoping to I was hoping to get a rise out of Akane on that. Ah, uh, I should have just gone for it. Yes, it was the cord. It's not that I mean, it's not that hard. I just I was just hoping for some funnier dialogue than that is all. That's it. Instead of the handle, Nagito must have been holding onto the cord. There was a metal weight at the tip of the cord, but there was blood stains on that part too. Plus the joint between the weight and the cord had a blood stain shaped like it was cut off by something. It isn't the size of the cutoff section about the same size as a human fist? Ah, oh, you're right! So this is the part Nagito is gripping, huh? And then the blood that was supposed to end up here ended up getting on Nagito's left hand. But why is it so important to know which part of the spear he was gripping? You're not gonna say he gripped the tip of the cord, swung the spear around, and stabbed himself, right? Holy system. That is where the clue to solve this mystery resides, right, Chayaki? I am sorry. Of course this mystery will not be solved that easily. Hmm, Nagito is gripping the cord extending from the butt of the spear with his left hand. There are... <laughs> you know, we might as well be talking about plumbing, because if you... I mean, if you are involved in plumbing at all or know anything about it, you know there's a lot of innuendo in that field as well. But from there, how should we... How would he stab himself in the stomach with a spear? He just let it fall on him. Hmm. Hmm. It seems we are stuck. Shall we have tea time? A at a time like this? How about we stick to the plan to think one step at a time instead of expecting the answers all at once? Well, that's a long plan name. One step at a time. Uh, what does that mean? Let's focus on the spear first. Namely, where it was and how it was positioned, just before it impaled Nagito. How it was positioned. So, okay, so we didn't go into the rebuttal showdown like I was expecting. So Nagito was facing up and the spear stabbed through his stomach. So if it's just before that, that's it. Could it be? Okay, maybe we're going into it. Maybe we're going into... Oh, hopefully it's not a hangman scam, but the state of the spear and the fact that Nagito was holding the tip of the cord attachment. If I put those together and think about it, I should be able to figure it out. Where the spear was, and what state it was in, before it stabbed Nagito. Oh no, okay. This sounds like logic dive. Okay, I can do this. Probably. Most likely. I don't, I don't have too much of an issue with this. I think the first one... Yeah, the first one kind of beat me silly. Alright, so... Okay. Um... So we're getting all the the quick pop-ups now. Ah, oh my god! I just realized! Uh, Battletoad's turbo tube. This is... So where was the sphere just before it appeared? Uh, it would have been above Nikito. Easy enough. Let's... Because... Yeah, this one isn't too terribly hard to figure out either. Oh, now they're moving. Goody. Oh, goody. Not prepared for moving objects and something like this. Okay. Well, as long as I just stay far away from it, that was a bad idea. I shouldn't have done that. I should have just held forward. Okay, so besides the spear, what else was above Nikito? The ceiling girder. Yep. Because it's just... It, I mean, ultimately, it's just a matter of swinging the cord over the girder, and then 
letting go of the weight, and the spear would consequently drop upon him. Ah. Anything else? Other than just hanging out on the edge of the half pipe here. Oh, what's what's going on? They're, they're short, and I don't know what to do! Okay, they take up a couple at a time. I'm blind, and I'm blind, and can't be forgiven. Oh well. So what do we got? What's our third question? What item connects both the cord? Yeah. I, di I didn't finish reading the sentence, but I kind of knew where the question was going. Okay, yay, that's it. Oh, that, that wasn't too bad. That didn't take too terribly long. But, oh, yes, I need to progress. Sorry about that. Um, but I think uh, since we just finished that off, we ought to be getting pretty close. So in the next episode, we'll uh, relay our findings of our inner mind to the rest of the group. And... See where the rest. See where the rest of the case goes. We I, we're getting dangerously close to having nothing left but the murder weapon at this point, or something involving the poison, because that's the main. That's the major other issue that's uh, tied to this case. Um, so we'll see when we get there. Otherwise, I want to thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Farewell.